In this video, I want to discuss the torque of a dipole, so an electric dipole, due to an electric field, so a dipole inside an electric field. Now, as we can see in this kind of setup, if we have the electric field going this way, and recall that the negative charge will go opposite, so it will be kind of run opposite to the arrows of the electric field, and the positive charge will run with the direction. So you can think of it being pushed in versus one being pulled. So because these charges are the, you know, the same magnitude, the net force on both of these things will be essentially cancel each other out, and so there will be no net force. But this is a rotating scenario, right? So there will be a torque, a net torque on this thing. So let's first define some things. So recall that torque is R cross F, or I should say force cross F. So let me rewrite this. So not force, so it's force cross R. Because remember, with cross products, the, it does matter the order you do it. So force cross R, or essentially FR sine theta. And then recall that force is equal to charge times electric field. So in the electric field it is, so the force due to the electric field is the charge times the electric field. And that means that taking this together, we can find the torque. So I'm going to draw a little dot in the middle, and this is a set distance d. So since force, the force for, you know, for torque will be perpendicular, so 90 degrees, to the you know, kind of lever arm, so the distance, right? So the torque on this point, right? We'll say this point, so in this case, this is d over 2 on this positive charge right here. And this force will be kind of downwards this way. And so that means that the torque on this top half is equal to, so I will just say torque positive will be equal to d over 2, so for this kind of r, times the force, and then sine theta, or in this case, sine phi, because we're going to use this, a separate symbol, and that's just a tradition or convention. Conversely, we can, or likewise, it's the same thing on the bottom, and it swings upwards, and the angle should be, you know, equal in, in that sense. So it will be d over 2 qe sine phi. And thus, q net is equal to the torque, or torque net is equal to torque positive plus the torque on the negative charge. And thus, you get that the torque for a dipole in an E field is distance, charge, electric field, sine phi. And then recall that the dipole, moment, dipole vector has a magnitude of QD. So we can just write PE sine phi. And then recall that this cross product is equal to FR sine theta. And so we can notice a similar pattern here. And we can say that P cross E is torque, right? So, you know, it matches up. So the torque vector is equal to the dipole vector cross the electric field. And so the main point to get here is that it's a perpendicular force on this positive charge. So that is why we have to do a cross product.